Hi, I'm Steve Reynolds, driver of the Cellular One. And this week, for Performance Corner, I'm going to give you a tour of the cockpit and show you exactly what I go through in starting one of these turbine engines. The first thing we want to take a look at is the electrical panel right here at the top of the canopy. It's very simple. Even though these boats have become more complicated, the cockpit arrangement has become extremely simple. We have a master switch. Here's the strobe light, fuel pump, exhaust gas temperature, start fuel, starter and generator, the igniters, and of course the fire switch right here. The gauges are laid out in a very simple array so that at a glance I can tell whether the gauges are normal or not. And now I'll take you through a starting procedure. With the brake locked, right over here, we lock the brake. I come on with the master switch. We'll turn the boost pump on. We'll turn the igniters on. We'll turn the EG key gauge on. Right there, the exhaust gas temperature gives me a reading. Then I'll come down on the start generator, the start fuel. At approximately 6%, the engine should come on to main fuel. At that point, I can start getting off of the start fuel, staying on the start generator. At about 40%, the engine will go on to total main fuel. I can release the start generator, putting it up into the generator mode, which charges the batteries, and turn the igniters off. The engine is now self-sustained. We release the brake, and we're off and running. Very simple. Hey, piece of cake. I can tell everyone in class understands. <laughs> <laughs>